This is the first video for the playing card project. So what you should do first is to pick what uh, your subject matter is going to be. Now I'm going to use the same thing that I used for our um, demonstration. I'm going to use Adam Levine. He's the lead singer of Room 5. Uh, what you also want besides their face, a good quality face. Uh, by the way, you want the face to be um, either three-quarter kind of view, like turning their face slightly. Um, I said um, in class that, you know, if you could see one ear, that's good. You want to be able to not see the other ear. That's a good way of um, using that as a gauge to, to determine if it's a, a, a good angle for the shot. You don't want them looking straight at you. Um, their head turned towards the camera. You want it slightly turned. Uh, if you're using one of the one-eyed jacks or the jack, uh, the king of diamonds, you can go with a full profile because those playing cards, their faces are uh, full profile. So uh, what you also need is uh, something for the person to hold. Uh, so I had a microphone and I also had something for the background and then I also added this logo here that I'll I'll put into the project somehow so you just want to gather your images and you want to put them into uh, a folder called playing card in your graphic design folder okay so the very first step to this project is you're going to take the face and you are going to bring it over to the playing card so what I tend to do with this version of Photoshop is I drag one of the images out outside of the blotter and have the in the other image on the blotter. So you're going to roughly select the face. I am purposely selecting more than I think I need. I'm going to grab his collar and you're going to get marching ants around it. Now I just happen to use the polygonal lasso tool. If I wanted to use the regular lasso tool or even the rectangular marquee tool, something where you're going to get marching ants around here. And you just use the move tool and you are going to drag it onto the playing card. Uh, it's a good sign if the image is bigger than the playing card. That means that the face that you selected, uh, it has a really good resolution. If it's really small, uh, much, much smaller than the the playing card for the face. It, it As you stretch it out bigger, it might not be a good resolution. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just getting it approximately the right size. You want to make sure that you have the proportions locked right here. You want to maintain the aspect ratio so you're not stretching it or squishing it. And that'll allow you to get the right size. Now, one of the things is that you see clearly is that it's facing the wrong way, but as you know from other projects, you can flip this image. You can go up to Edit and Transform, and you're flipping it vertically. I'm sorry, nope, you're flipping it horizontally. I clicked it right. And so then you're going to continue to get it to be the right size. What you can also do is you can lower the opacity of this layer. So it gives you an idea of what the face is going to look like, what that head's going to look like in proportion to the face. Now what I do is I usually look at the hat and I also look at the shoulders to see if it kind of makes sense in that spot. Sometimes um, I recommend to even use the actual face of the original playing card and kind of line it up. That helps as well, but you don't have to use that as a rule. Okay. Then I'm going to bring the opacity back up. All right, so that's the first video. The next video, I'm going to show you how to clean up the edge here, and we'll start to think about how we're going to get this to um, look very realistic.